I've finally managed to fix this issue uh, with hair on metahumans in UE5 when uh, using live link for facial motion capture or any sort of animation this this seems to happen it's um, a pretty simple fix and took me a little while to figure it out so I wanted to put this video together to explain how to do things so first things first select your meta human with problematic hair and um, once selected on the right hand side scroll down so that you can access uh, the the blueprints uh, the individual hair so basically you go to the metahuman blueprint then within that blueprint uh, you select the problematic hair on the left side and then on the right side scroll all the way down and get to the groom asset and click to locate that in the content content browser open that up by double clicking and within the groom asset you want to search for rbf interpolation and one by one uh, start disabling these down the list it's going to freeze up a little bit or at least it did on my system so we're just waiting for things to unfreeze As each uh, one of these uh, switches that you turn off uh, is toggled the hair should start to look normal I haven't yet found uh, a negative effect from doing this uh, maybe the overall quality uh, is diminished uh, if anybody actually knows what uh, what's going on behind the scenes and and what the negative aspects of this might be please do comment below I would love to know uh, however it's it seems to fix my problem so there we go where you see the hair is still moving nicely it's draping over the shoulder uh, the physics seem to be accurate and it's not it's not glitching it looks normal it's what I expected it's what I had hoped for when using animations the the hair is not going crazy and you can go down and select all of these if things start to get weird again if you have any other hair element you can do this with that you have to select the respective uh, groom item like the eyebrows the uh, facial hair etc now there's still another issue when you hit a certain zoom distance things get bad again so one other thing that you can do is select your metahuman and scroll all the way down in the details to um, the LOD sync and uh, click to open that blueprint and then on the left side scroll down to the LOD sync again and just change the setting here the forced LOD setting from minus one to plus one I'm super excited about this this works great one of the most exciting things learning Unreal Engine for me is uh, when things don't work and then the journey you have to kind of take to, to figure them out and, and test different things and try different things and then oh suddenly something works but is it an actual solution let's let's try and reproduce it let's bring in other assets and try it on different elements and so far so good this is working quite nicely I'm very happy and I'm super excited we've got working hair